What's going on guys? It's time for the yearly tradition where we find out how my fantasy teams would be in NHL 24. This year, both my fantasy teams are on Yahoo. The first though was a snake draft. As you can see, I took Brady Kachuk, first round left overall. Doesn't put up as many points as other guys, but so many shots, hits, penalty minutes. Honestly, he's a fantasy god. You guys can see there, I got Crosby at the turn, Stamkos, Tavares. You'll notice a lot of centers here. And that's because in this league, faceoff wins actually count for 0.1 points, which doesn't sound like a lot, but honestly, it adds up throughout the year. So a lot of centers here. I feel like we got pretty solid decor. Um, I think in both leagues this year, I kind of waited to draft goalies because they're so fluky. I know I got Johansson in both. He's going to be the starter for Tampa Bay the first two months. I think that was pretty good value. And moving on now to my other team, which was an auction draft. You guys can see I went a little crazy there and spent more than half of my money on Conor McDavid. I had to have him. So that made it pretty tough to fill out the rest of the roster, but still added some pretty good players. Uh, Brad Marchand there actually immediately traded on draft day for Dylan Larkin. But then I also got Hintz, Connor, Gensel, Giroux, Pavelski, Barzell. Um, you can see you know, weighted on defense and goaltending. So definitely had to kind of scrape the ball in the barrel there into the draft because I had, you know, so little money. So I'm really curious to see how this team's going to do this year. And in terms of NHL 24 here, guys, we have to do a season mode. That way I can control both teams. If it's franchise, you can only control one. So I'm going to take out the worst team in the West, which is the Chicago Blackhawks, and then take out the worst team in the East, which is the Philadelphia Flyers. So in the West, I'm thinking I'll put the Snake team just because San Antonio Snakes, they just sound like they fit in the Central a little bit better there. And as you can see, they're 95 overall, making them the highest rated team in the league. And again, in the East, the Philadelphia Flyers are the lowest rated team. Going to sub in the Anchorage Auction. Again, I feel like, you know, auction fits there with the Metro Division a lot better. 92 overall actually ties them with Carolina Hurricanes and has them one overall below the New York Rangers. So it looks like the auction team's gonna have a bit harder of a time making the playoffs, but honestly, they really both should. All right, guys, so next show show what the lines look like for both teams. Starting off here with the snake draft. You can see we got Kachuk, Crosby, Stamkos on that first line. So nasty. Even Barzell, Shifley, Forsberg on the second. Tavares, Couture, Sagan, Johnston, Cooley, Zaka. Defensively here, we got Taze and Doughty, top pair. Theodore Sergeyev on the second with Forsling and Kopitar on the bottom. Uh, both these teams didn't have six defensemen, so I had to throw some forwards on D. I feel like Kopitar, solid defensive awareness. He'll do fine there. In terms of the goaltending, got Vanacek starting. Who's so there backing him up? If you guys are curious too, here's a look at the power play one. I think, you know, that'll be pretty solid. Uh, power play two there also looks pretty good. In terms of the PK, I feel like it's got to be one of the best in the NHL. Couture, Kopitar. I should mention too, I actually didn't draft Couture, but I picked him up out of waivers um, after putting somebody on IR. You guys can all see the second and third PKs there. I um, should mention too, Scratch. So I've got Aiden Hill and Johansson. Uh, this team's got four goalies, so obviously can only start two. And unless you guys look at the auction draft team, first line there has to be the fastest line in the NHL. Kyle Connor, Connor David, Matt Barzell. What's crazy too is Edmonton Oilers actually could have drafted Barzell or Connor with that 16th overall pick. The fact they traded away for Griffin Reinhardt is still unbelievable. I mean, imagine the duo that could have been plus dry saddle, but that should be a solid first line. Uh, second there, you got Pavelski, Larkin, Gensel. I think that's very good. Third line even, Kuznetsov, Giroux, Hintz. The fourth line's okay. You got Pacioretty there. I actually picked him up as well off of waivers. I think Lokichur was on IR, so I picked up Pacioretty, immediately put him on IR as well, and then actually picked up Michael Bunting too. Uh, back from there in the middle. Hopefully he does well this year, you know, feeding the puck to OV defensively. So I only got 4D, man. We got Theodore York, Krug, and Ekman Larson. I'm hoping Ekman Larson, well, Ekblad Montour out, is going to, you know, put out some points there. Now the bomb D pair, of course, is two forwards. You got Brock Nelson, Lokichur. They should both do okay. Lokichur there has got A9D awareness. Same with Brock Nelson. So we'll see, of course, in the sim. Goaltending wise, you got Bainton, Vimelka. So, slightly worse than the other team, but honestly, not that much worse. Um, scratched on both teams there. Johansson, again, I think the first two months, he's like going to be an absolute steal. Uh, power play one there. Pavelski out front. That actually looks pretty solid. You guys can see power play two. Um, in terms of the PK, I feel like this team also should have, you know, pretty solid PK there. Some pretty good two way players. So, uh, we'll get started here, guys, with the sim. When both these teams actually match up, uh, we'll see, you know, who wins those games. And then, of course, who does better than the overall season. Also, too, guys, I'll show you the ratings for both teams. I realized I totally forgot to actually design the team's jerseys. I made the logos. Both teams have purple logos for the Yahoo logo, but the jerseys I just totally forgot about. Brain fart by me. Regardless, it looks like we're like a beer league team. Uh, we got 100 offense, 97 defense, 87 goaltending there for the Snake team. And now for the auction team here, guys, again, we're rocking some beer league jerseys. We've got 100 offense as well. Only 90 defense, though, so a little bit lower. And then 86 gold, tiny, I think, one lower. Regardless, we'll get started here. Like I said, very curious to see which team does better. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Will it be the Snake Draft team with Kachuk, Crosby, Stamkos, or the Auction Draft team with David Connor, and Hintz? And so I just summed up for the first time these two teams play each other. As you can see, the Snake team's actually first in the Central there with a record of 34, 15, and 7. Uh, the Auction team, they're 29, 22, and 5. And they're currently in a wild card spot there in the Metro. So... Um, I kind of figured the Snake team would be a bit better just because they have that better defense, slightly better goaltending. So 
I will sim this one period by period and see so you can take the win. Crosby currently leading score on the Snake team, just over a point per game. Uh, McDavid actually the exact same amount of points, 57. Crosby though, mostly assists. McDavid had a little bit more goals there. So uh, we'll get started here, guys. First period, Snake's the home team. Options up a couple though. Theodore Krug, two defensemen scoring, three to one. Tavares there. Gensel, who's gonna take it home here? And seven to one, the auction team actually pops off there. So I was starting to doubt them and uh, they proved me wrong. And so it's time for the rematch now, guys. The auction team is actually the home team and both teams have almost identical records. Auction there first in the Metro, 93 points, 43, 24, and seven. Snake there, 43, 21, and nine is also first in the Central, 95 points. So these two teams are very, very close. McDavid still leading score for auction. Crosby still for Snake. And they have the exact same amount of points. Like how crazy is that? So uh, we'll see what happens here. Does auction go up two nothing in the season series or can the Snake team tie it up? And Snake's up 2 nothing. Looks like the Wake team's doing better. Shifley and Sergeyev, 4-2 now after 2. Pavelski and Taze, Crosby and Connor. Here we go, third period. 5-2, to two. Kachuk there with the insurance goal. So uh, the season series is 1-1. With how good both these two teams are playing, how close they are, it would be very cool if they can actually meet in the Snake Cup final. And so we're nothing in the season here, guys. The auction team has a record of 48-27-7, which is good for 103 points. First there in the Metro, the Snake team's record, 48-24-10. 106 points and first there in the Central Division. So again, very, very close. Uh, Crosby at 86 points on the year. McDavid also at 86 points on the year. I'll take a quick look and see how everyone else did. On the auction team, you got Connor second in points with 76. You then got Pavelski, Barzell, Drew all 60. Because it's season mode, I do believe uh, the scoring set to medium. And I think shot frequency should be set to high uh, because that is the default in franchise mode. But honestly, I don't know. Uh, goal tightening there, Bainting got a bit more starts. Over 900 save percentage. And then you look at the Snake team here. Huso, a bit more starts. They actually had almost identical save percentage, though. Him and Vanacek, 9-1 each. And then uh, goals against. Vanacek was actually slightly better behind Crosby on that team. Stammer also about a point per game. Kachuk, Shifley, both in the 60s. Forsberg, Barzell, and Theodore were pretty close. And now the entire league here, guys. You got Mitch Marner putting up 101 points. Winning the Art Ross Trophy. Only 21 goals. Followed by Marchand, Matthews, Kucherov, Ovi, Pashnak. McDavid there on the Oilers, 94. Nylander, Hughes. Um, looks like Matthews, 58 goals. Yeah, it's going to be winning the Richard Shard Trophy. Defensively, Yossi put up 84 points. In terms of the goaltenders, Vasilevsky there had 48 wins. Saber percentage low goes to Saros, 9-2-4 with the Predators. Just uh, carrying them. 2-4-8 goals against. And the rookie skaters here, Adam Fantilli had 48 points. Logan Cooley, 24. And look at this, guys. Before we get started with the playoffs, Tim. Tampa Bay Lightning there won the President's Trophy, 115. Snake Draft team's in second with 106 points. Auction team's in third with 103. So they were that close to each other, finishing second and third in the entire NHL. Pretty crazy. Tampa Bay did better than, like, two literal all-star teams. But um, we'll see what happens here in the playoffs. Uh, the first round, auctions got Columbus and Snake's got Minnesota. We'll send a couple games at a time, looking at both. So the Snake team's up 2-0. Auction team's 1-1. One one. They're playing Columbus here. And, okay, now they're up 3-1. to one. Uh, Snake team no just lost two. Oh my goodness, they're 2-2. Two, two. And they actually win the next two to win in six. Auction team actually won in five. And now in the second round, they got the Rangers. And the other team's got the St. Louis Blues. Honestly, I don't expect the Blues to make the playoffs this year, but you never know. And Auction team there, they're 1-1 one one with the Rangers. The Snake team's also 1-1 one one with the Blues. Next two games in St. Louis, they're 2-2. Two and two. Auction team there's also 2-2. Two and two. Jeez. And they win the next two. So they win that thing in six. Snake team could be out here. Coming down to game seven with the St. Louis Blues. And they win it. They move on to the conference following against the Dallas Stars. I uh, was in the first couple games here. And they get a couple wins. Auction team there playing the Bruins. They actually lose their first two games. Are they going to get swept? No, they tie it up to a piece. And this team swept. Wow, Snake team. Moving on to the Snake Cup Finals. So they're ready. They're waiting for the auction team. Can they get by the Bruins here? So it's up. It was 2-2. Two to two. They're now up 3-2. to two. They've actually got a three-game win streak. Can they uh, do it in game six? Comes down to game seven. Here we go, guys. Let's see what happens. After one, it's 1-1. One, one. Zacher for them. Larkin for us. 3-2 to two now. Duclair, who they traded for. JVR. McDavid for us. Come on. It would be so sick to have both fantasy teams in the Stanley Cup final. Bruins do not ruin this. We need one goal here in the third. Still have half the third. Zaka again. Of course, Zaka's actually on the other fantasy team, the Snake one. But uh, I don't know. Eight minutes left. Down by two. I can probably just finish the game... Because, yeah, I don't think. They did get one late. Patch ready there. 51 seconds, unfortunately. Uh, could not find that equalizer. So, the auction team, literally one game away from making the Stanley Cup final. Snake team, though, does make it. Again, they're playing the Boston Bruins. So, they got the home ice advantage. They're 1-1 one and one through 2. Next two games there, they actually win both. So, they're up 3-1. to one. So, all the Snake Draft team has to do is win one of these next three games. And they're Stanley Cup champs. They're up one early. Tavares, 3-3. Three to three. Boston answers back. Could shot Cooley for us, though. 
five to three. Boston will not be denied. All right, so game six here. I'm probably not gonna watch the Stanley Cup celebration if we actually do win, just because I mean, with like an all-star team like this, I feel like it doesn't matter as much. But um, we're up three nothing early. Should I do a couple? Forsberg and four to two. They're pushing. Five to three, we hold on. Brady Kachuk, David Pasternak. So there you have it, guys. The Snake Draft team won the Stanley Cup. Again, not too bad for the auction draft team either. Literally, you know, coming one game away from facing them in the Stanley Cup final, which would have been so sweet. End of playoffs there, Stanley Cup champs, San Antonio Snakes. So Brady Kachuk here was actually playoff scoring leader. But he was actually tied with Shifley, Crosby, Barzell, who all had 17 points. Uh, Forsberg, 15. Same with Taze, chipping in. Let's see, goaltending wise, Vanchuk got the start. 9.25 save percentage. 2.29 goals against. Taking a look at the auction team here. Bennington, pretty decent playoff numbers. 904, 2.94. Vimelka did go in at one point, though. McDavid had 26 points in 18 games. He was just trying to carry this team in the second final. Connor was also over a point per game. Uh, Giroux there at 19. So, kind of crazy. Like, this team actually had a lot better scores, but uh, the Snake team was just the more balanced team, as it turns out. And right here, you guys can see the playoff tree. Again, it sucks. We were so, so close to having both teams play each other. But still, the fact that, you know, one of them won the Stanley Cup, and they both made the conference final, I think, is very very cool uh finally here guys we'll take a look at the awards so i feel like we know all the team awards there individually marner got the art ross marshan hart trophy hughes james norris marner lady bing fantilli calder shifley got the con smite there again there was a four-way tie on that team at 17 points you probably could have given it to mcdavid honestly how many points he had in just three rounds uh saros vesna vasilevsky though got the william jennings savard bill masterton mcdavid got the selkie that's what the oilers interesting uh, Marsh and Ted Lindsay and then Matthews there Marie Richard so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one I thought that was a lot of fun if you did leave that thumbs up if you guys haven't subscribed yet hit sub button down below thank you guys so much for watching have a nice day and goodbye